The year is 1619, and I have just escaped execution at the hands of my own king. I might have died in peace before the burning need to clear my name. Destiny has driven me here to the edge of human exploration. Some call this place the New World. The Romans called it Mars. And welcome everybody, this is Nihon Tiger and welcome to another in December game and this one is Jamestown Legend of the Lost Colony. So as you can tell by the, the title, we are playing as colonists from 17th century Britain who instead of ending up on Earth and ending up in the new world that was North America have ended up on Mars. This is a real thing that's happening. So let's go ahead and we'll start the game. So we've got the shop. Find things, buy things with ducats, leaderboards, options, bonus levels. So what's in the shop here? Gauntlet mode, thousand gold. I don't really need to... Nope, actually, nope. Let's just go back. Uh, back. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Start off on Eastern Frontier with normal difficulty. And. Okay! Nice. Okay. So you can just go right at it. Pick a ship design below. Don't really have a choice. We got. Uh, not unlock the ships. We got Beam is our only option. Let's go. November 5, 1619, morning. I must admit, I think I would have prepared my old eyes for what lies before them. The new world is truly a wonder to behold. Sadly, I had little time to enjoy the view. Though I eluded my captors at the Tower of London long enough to make passage to Jamestown Colony, I doubt very much they have given up the chase. I have pinned my hopes for survival on the mysterious lost colony of Roanoke. If I can produce the solution to such an enduring and tragic mystery, I am convinced that my heroism would earn me amnesty for my crimes. For now, I make for the battlefields of the Eastern Frontier. I have on it good authority that John Smith himself is to be found there, defending our settlements from the Allied Spanish Martian forces. So yes, the Martians and the Spaniards are attacking the English on Mars in the 17th century. I pray that he will have some kind of idea of how an entire co colony of 117 souls could disappear and leave no trace to mark his passing. Okay? The conveyance comes on my side. I fear violence waits for me on the road ahead. R. All right, so this is a an arcade style vertical shooter. Chapter one: War upon the East Frontier, in which a settlement is ravaged by betentacled Martians loyal to the Spanish, and the villain appears. But yes, it's a. Oh, here we go. So basically, the goal of Jamestown is shoot things, as is the case in all arcade shooters. Shoot as much as you can, get as much gold. And if you notice up there in the top left corner, I have a meter antenna filling up. It's the font meter. I think it's that's B, and what that does is it gives me a shield and a bonus for points. See, so yeah, I'm getting 400 points instead of 200 now. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Nice done. Nice and done. Oh, I missed all that gold. Damn. That would have been helpful. Oh, I'm missing tons of gold. No, 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 okay. Take that out, come on. Get all that gold. Hit the font. That's a lot of gold. So you can't really shoot everything. You just kind of have to pick and choose. Oh, actually, I hit it a little early, so all that did was. Oh, I died. Crap. I wasn't paying attention, but uh, I hit that the vaunt a little early, and all it did really was kind of move my vaunts a little f 
further out. Here we go. So I'm just gonna be at kind of a, a nice pace here. Yeah, it just it just wants it whatever your level is. So if you have a full obviously if you have a full bar you get more for it, but nice. Got a bunch of stuff there. Nicely done. Should we pick up all that gold? Get all that gold as well. You can see there's a score indicator up at the uh, top of the screen there. The number of stars you have is obviously your score for the level. Nice. Just keep dodging, keep dodging. Go, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh I missed those guys. These guys over here, I can get them. All the gold. Come over here. Uh oh, I think we got a boss fight coming up. Boss, the traitor prince, overmind to the Martian rebel forces. Ooh. Boss fight, boss fight. Damn you. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, holy crap, holy crap. Break all those. Ooh, I missed that. Holy crap, I was lucky. Do this, Nihon. Want that right there? Just dodge the bullets. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. Got a little bit of button lag. Oh, ooh. Got through the first. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. Keep it steady. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Um. How we dodge that? Got it. Nicely done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. All right, I got him. Nicely done. Next star. A bunch of points off. Hey, I got max stars. Nice. Henceforth, you should be there. There's a credit saver. Bunch of ducats. Nice. So, let's go to the next level. Reverse 5, 16, 19, evening. As we drove back from the last of the... Uh, we drove back to the last of the Allied Spanish Martian fortress, we heard a distant bell cry through the smoke and dust behind us. Erupting dramatically from the clouds was none other than John Smith. His handsome figure posed dramatically at the prow of his ship. This dashing entrance came a moment too late to render us any actual assistance, but the man's eagerness and thirst for adventure do much to forgive his lacking punctuality. Having turned the tide of his frontier campaign against the enemy, his spirits were high, and he offered us lodgings for the night. Over a bonfire feast of roast pork and potatoes, Smith drew out a crude map of a place he and his men called the Dark Sector. Shrouded within foreboding clouds and bestuous cyclones, he believes that this godforsaken place may hold the answers I seek. Of course, our course will take us different, directly through territory controlled by the Spanish. Their conquistador will want vengeance after their losses here today. May some light find us in these dark and forgotten corners of wilderness. We leave it on. R. Story time, nice. So we on to our next mission, the Dark Sector, November 16th, 1619 at high noon. 
Okay, I'll do normal difficulty just because we're doing kind of a, a little bit of a preview here. Pick a ship design a little. Again, we got beam is our option. There's other options. We'll be able to unlock them later. Journey through the dark sector in which Raleigh is pursued by the vigilant Spanish border guard and the awful truth stands revealed. Okay, so I am, uh, since we're using historical figures, I bet I'm Sir Walter Raleigh. Which makes the, the search for Roanoke kind of make sense as far as why we're doing that. Oh, God. Oh, 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 okay, so that guy threw you. Come on, Sir Walter, we can do this. This. You can hit him. You can hit him. You can hit him. Oh. He just went away. And he's back. So now I'm going to fight him again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Little ring shaped stuff. Let's use our vaunts there a little early sure that we make it out alive. <laughs> nice are done. Oh, yeah. Nice. Got an upgrade of some sort, I think. It's properly scary now. Roanoke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we did find Oak. This ain't good. The awful truth has been revealed. The Oak colony has been destroyed. By evil Martians. Frame lag with the uh, it might just be fraps is causing it. I don't know. I'm noticing things seem a little bit slow right now. There's occasionally a little jump here or there. Okay, come on. It's actually helping me out, I think. I haven't used my Vaunt yet because I want to save it for when I actually need it. And I don't quite need it right now. There we go. I like there's different difficulty options here. So that you can always pick something that's a little bit harder. If it's a little too easy or if it's a little too hard, you can always go back to uh, something a little easier. I like the music too, man. The music is just great in this game. Not to mention the storytelling. It's kind of an alternate history. It's really well done so far, at least. Uh, you get the laser. You get the laser, you're gonna be trouble. Oh goodness. Holy crap, uh oh, uh oh. Yikes. And dead. Yes, chase me. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. He's my vaunt now. Oh, holy crap, I'm doing really well. I mean, this isn't the hardest difficulty, but 
I mean, I'm surprised. I'm not necessarily the best at these kind of games. Boss Lady of the Lake, the Bane of Roanoke. Ooh. Three. Holy crap. Oh, man. Three bars. Take those, and that will protect me a little bit here. Oh dear god. Yeah, come here, gold! Let's see if my vaunt for when she gets back up. Done. Ah, uh, crap. Alright, so that woke her up. And now she's pissed off. Those two, thank you. Ooh, I died. Okay. So that was that was bad, but nice. You got the kill. Oh, okay. This is actually coming along pretty quick. I might have time to do one more level. Because why not? There we go. So let's do one more. Remember six. 1619, high noon. The girl emerged from the swamp like an apparition, but when she said her name, I knew she was as real as you or I. Imagine Virginia Dare, the first child of the colonies. If I brought her back to England with me, I would surely be pardoned by the king. But she will hear none of that. Her heart is fixated on rescuing her father, Joaquim. She says that Rono colony was destroyed when she was still a child, and the swamp itself was driven bloodthirsty by some manner of Martian weapon. Apparently that weapon was wielded by the very same conquistador who attacks our settlements today. And even now, he holds her father in his most hellish prison. If I help rescue her father, she has pledged to return to England with me. It would seem our interests are aligned, at least for now. Story time. Alright, so... To the Badlands. One more. Let's do one more here. Why not? Let's go. And obviously we've still got Beam been keeping us pretty uh, pretty safe. Chapter 3, Prisoner of the Badlands, in which a prison break is affected by simply attacking the prison at all robotic guards in broad daylight. <laughs> it's a uh, really good way to, to do a prison break, I think. Is it not? Die, prison guards, die! We grab the gold, keep our meter full. bonus out of that. There we go. Doing really well now. Get some more gold. There's a saucer guy trying to catch up to me. Uh, catch up to me there, but no, I will not let him. No, sir. Not do that. I see you there. I see you there. Don't try and do that to me. All right. So we're just kind of as much gold as we can, get as many bonus points as possible. Nice. A ton of gold. So really, I guess I want to hit the vaunts even when I don't have a need to, because it'll just get me a ton of points. That's good. This game is so much fun. I'm loving it. I almost feel like what I should do is do like a 
Maybe after in December is done, I'll do like an actual playthrough of this. I mean, it's not going to be too many episodes. It might be too... Oh. Let's pay attention. Let's not talk about the future while we're still trying to combat the present. But maybe when I'm done with uh, in December, I'll actually do a, a quick playthrough of this. Actually get some story done. Go. Got this guy over here, and I died. Wonderful Good job, Neon. Dead. So I'm out of lives. This could be problematic. Oh. Yeah, I gotta continue, I guess. We just, uh, life not paying attention. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the opportunity. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm making mistakes now. Making mistakes. Let's keep, a, keep an eye out. Alright, this must be boss fight time. The Dread Sentry. I'll seek Robotic Guardian of Over the Wasteland. Oh. This guy. Meter going. So he's probably just uh just hanging out here and pattern change. The pattern change. This one's a snake pattern. To help get me through there. Nice. Uh oh. Okay, now we got uh, a big bad guy here. Oh crap, really? down. Font. Quickly. Go. Hey, there we go. Nice and done. Woo! Awesome. And we got our five stars. Sweet. Alright, well I think that will do it for today. I think we've probably seen enough of the game to give you guys a little bit of a, an idea of what it's all about. But thank you guys for watching. Yeah, we might do another, another run through this game in the future and actually do a, a full playthrough. So maybe a two or three episode playthrough of this will be something we'll do in the near future. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time here for another In December game.